finally, finally I can record Pine Pulpwood, which is my second best favorite. And with the new crane, which now after service feels a lot better. I got the truck back uh, 10 o'clock in the morning uh, from the uh, Scania service. At first I thought that it was a major issue, but actually there was only a one loose nut there, so nothing special. But um, those um, uh, first problems that it had also, uh, oil leak, were uh, kind of major. We could uh, physically see where was it coming, and uh, there was basically nothing we could do. But this one, only one loose nut. But as soon as I saw the uh, leak, I wasn't thinking that much. Just a straight idea to get to the service, let the uh, other guys worry about the problem. I mean, everything has warranty. So this is my third load today. No problems so far. This area actually is a military area. So no drone flying. I didn't plan to either. Even if I would uh, point the drone straight at me, still prohibited. So I don't want to face those guys. Uh, I mean, there's a there's a big sign out there that pretty much I cannot walk in this place. Well, actually, I will break the law because the turnaround spot is is far far away, and I don't want to go there. So I will enter to this site. I'm sorry guys. there has been someone else. How much harm could we do? I think one more driver is coming here. 
but that doesn't mean I need to hurry. ticket for overweight. I accidentally put uh, 12 overtons. I said I was sorry, but they still gave me a ticket. got the truck uh, 10 o'clock today that means my maximum time in finishing is uh, I guess I could say one in the morning or one at night I'm not sure how it's how it is the proper way to say it. But I don't mind that uh, finishing late at night because uh, it's going to be two days off anyway. And I still have a crate to work because everything is new.
about this uh, military area. Uh, I don't, I don't remember if it was last year or the year before, but we had a loading site there, and, uh, and we were given uh, strict rules, strict rules of uh, two. Uh, there was a. There was a strict uh, schedule for entering us there. I believe it was only in uh, one day of the week. Don't remember actually what uh, day it was. Was it uh, in the middle of a week or or even weekend? I, I don't rem remember. But I know that it was it was one day. So uh, these guys were opening those uh, gates for us, well actually we didn't see them, the gate were just open and uh, it wasn't that big of a sight too, I don't know how many loads we, we took there. Uh, regulations were only for one thing uh, because they uh, practice uh, shooting here and uh, well I don't want to get a hit with a bullet and they don't want to hit you too so nothing special This is not a military base, it's just a place for soldiers to practice their shooting. I've seen those guys uh, on the side of the road here. I actually have a reason why I uh, like uh, birds pull pull uh, the most and the second is, uh, is pine like I'm loading at the moment because I know a lot of guys who prefer to load uh, spruce pull pull most of the time but my reason why I do like this the most is uh, because uh, if you do uh, some kind of a loading mistake in loading birch then most of the guys don't notice it but if you take for example uh, spruce usually this material is uh, straight and uh, well it looks nice if you do a small mistake on loading that you you are noticed from far away so that's why I like this uh, this yeah. I'm not 
a guy who uh, loads picture perfect loads. My way of thinking is that something close to half an hour, well, after half an hour, I'm gonna unload this. And uh, I don't wanna spend like an hour to load the load. Half an hour is, is okay to me. Slippery suckers.
think I started from the wrong side. I mean, I didn't notice that the uh, spruce is hanging on top of uh, pine. cooperate with me today.
trailer is waiting. Almost.
almost six o'clock so I do have more than seven hours left I believe I can finish sooner like six hours five hours five I think That's why I slowed down so much. And plus one degrees also. It's awesome to see that uh, on the between the empty fields, there is absolutely no ice, no so, no snow whatsoever. Small snow uh, triplets are falling down, but and that would be it, I think. No major snowing. At least if the weather forecast doesn't say that. And on Sunday, they said that it's seven plus seven degrees. It's my weekend to drive again from uh, Friday to Sunday. stuff it belongs to a private owner how can I tell no blue writings or no blue spray paint Someone's coming. God damn it. But dude has a place to pull.
wonder if that guy is one of us. Uh, pile, piles that I mentioned. I believe he's going after those. So um, if I would have been here like an hour later, that would have been a problem. Because I cannot see this guy on the map. Uh, in other parts of the world but um, at least in Estonia it's like this if you are loaded and uh, well if there's a loaded truck and an empty truck then uh, an empty truck has to reverse or back up or go, go someplace to let the loaded truck go but of course if uh, for my example if, if I do have a place to uh, back up like uh, I don't know 20 meters behind me I will do it the rule but it's a uh, it's a common sense actually um, well I mentioned that I can see uh, guys on the map uh, guys who do the exact uh, exact same work as I do so if I'm entering to the forest and I see that someone is loading I don't know in the same place that I was loaded I was loading like 15 minutes ago then uh, I will give the guy a call he doesn't uh, need to look after me while he is uh, loading. I have to look after him while he is loading. Because I am empty, he is not. That's why. My first year in here, I uh, actually made a mistake like that. Uh, I don't remember even if I opened up the map, but I just uh, drove into the forest and uh, there it was. A guy was uh, dri driving uh, towards me and he was loaded, but luckily uh, he had a place to, uh, place to uh, um, put himself then. And, uh, he helped me out instead of me helping him out, which was nice. And now I get along with this guy very good. So whenever we uh, end up in the same loading place, like maybe a, maybe even a full day, we always give uh, each other each other a call, like uh, where are you at and where are you at, so we can uh, make the most amount of profit. Sometimes one of us has to wait like five to ten minutes, so we can uh, go into the forest together and load together. a little problem I am um, I have one ton overweight
but the load itself uh, itself looks so tiny that maybe he lets me go if he even has he is out there